I feel like uh, if you really know what you want in life and if you really kind of uh, want to do it, you should go ahead and get it done. Nothing's going to get handed to you. I'm Joshua Marine, and this is my sensational story. Hi, my name is Oscar Marquez. I profile a 2015 Saint graduate, Joshua Marine. Unlike many graduates, he didn't follow the same path which is going to college. A year after he graduated Saint, he started his own business, which has now expanded to three Chicago locations. Fix Your Kicks is a store that repairs, paints, and sells shoes. I decided to talk to him about his passion for repairing shoes. Let's hear his story. My father's a cobbler, my grandfather's a cobbler, and my, uh, my great-grandfather was a cobbler as well. Uh, people don't really know that. Uh, he started off shining shoes. Um, there's actually a story uh, behind of kind of my, my great-grandfather uh, when he was shining shoes. Um, my uncle asked him, uh, why do I do this? You know, why is there a need for me to shine shoes? And my great-grandfather told him, he's like, son, one of the, one, uh, it's like, shining shoes is going to make you rich one day. And he, and he laughed because in Mexico, you know, they would give you like two pesos just for shining shoes and stuff. He didn't say it was going to make us rich through money-wise, but it's going to make us rich through at heart, you know. We're going to make a lot of people happy, you know. We're going to make communications with people, make relationships with people, uh, have a lot of uh, friends, you know. Because uh, this trade is kind of like dead. Not a lot of people do this, uh, uh, and it's rare for someone to get into it. Uh, nobody wants to kind of fix shoes, I guess. Nobody wants to put their hands in the smelly feet and the smelly shoe, I guess. So I took this trade into a little bit more of an extreme, uh, kind of like what I wear. I wear gym shoes, I wear sneakers. Uh, I have a lot of sneakerhead friends, and then I kind of fix up their shoes. Uh, so I started off in high school, uh, kind of cleaning uh, gym shoes. Uh, they would always throw me $20, $15, whatever they, whenever they had. Uh, and I would always try my best. And they would always be happy. They'd be like, damn, you snap, man. Like, I can't believe you actually did something with them, you know? Because people would you know, consider them their shoes dead or beat because, you know, they wouldn't want to wear them anymore. And I'd be like, hey, you know, I can make your shoes look good. They would message, message me pictures, be like, what can you do with this? What can you do with that? I take uh, much more pride in repairing regular shoes and sneakers uh, just because uh, I love working with machines, with old machines, and uh, with repairing sneakers is just like kind of washing them and painting them up, grabbing a paintbrush, applying paint to the shoes. Uh, but cobbling is more like of an art. It's more like of a construction of a shoe, kind of you're like building it up, making it look like new. Uh, and people really like it when the repairs come out great. Uh, we're not factory, I'm not a factory shop, you know, I'm a repair shop. I always try my best with each shoe that I have. I'm always honest with my customers. Uh, one thing about me is I'm a really honest person. Uh, I'll tell them if the shoe's worth fixing, if they should go buy new ones. But a lot of times people uh, find their shoes sentimental and they would want to get them repaired. So that's what they come to me for because I'm fixing kicks. That's what I do and yeah, fix shoes. Opened up one shop, and then after a couple months after that, um, my father had lost had lost his shop, and I was like, "Hey, you know, I'll help you. Uh, I'll help you open up a shop." And so we opened up Fix Your Kicks too. After that, uh, my father gave me the opportunity to buy the shop after a couple months, so I took that as an advantage. Uh, took over that shop, and then after that. I'd say about two or three months, uh, I saw there was a shoe repair shop for rent. Uh, I tried to buy that shop, uh, but unfortunately the landlord didn't, uh, didn't quite see any, like, anything. Like, he didn't see a purpose with me. He's like, man, you know, you're, you're a kid, you don't know what you're doing. But little did he know I had two shops. Uh, I told him everything about me. I was like, man, come check out my stores. This is what I do. He's like, he was a little older, a little older guy. He was an older head. He was probably, he's probably, he's probably like 60 years old. Uh, so he didn't quite, quite trust me due to uh, other teenagers who have let him down with like paying rent and stuff. Uh, nevertheless, uh, he checked my credit and all that stuff. 
I was able to get that third spot. That third spot was probably the hardest, the hardest spot that I was able to get.